project, we're going to need two shirts, two sheets of cardstock, newspaper for our spray adhesive, pen or pencil, scissors, cardboard, spray adhesive, and any color paint, a round circle shape pattern, and a weird gumball shape size thing, and some Peasley shaped items. Alright, let's begin. For our paper fan, you're going to have a circle. Um, mine is about the width of the length of my hand. And you're going to make that circle. And then you're going to try to draw some paisleys or uh, these, this weird shape. I can't explain how I did it because it was kind of complicated. And then you're going to have like this half triangle rectangle thing. It is about three inches tall and three inches wide. That this is the base of our fan, and you're going to lay this out on your cardstock, and you are going to cut uh, two round pieces and two weird triangle thingies, and then cut them out. Now you have your two pieces of your base for your fan, or your holding part, I should say, and then two pieces of our fan. Now from there, you're going to take your cardboard. Uh, mine is just a uh, cereal box that I cut. And you're going to take either your paper pattern or your cardstock pattern and place it on. And then you're going to trace those out and cut them out. So you'll have one of each of those. You have your one round piece of your cardboard and one base piece. So now we're going to get our newspaper out or whatever you're going to use to protect um, yourself from the spray adhesive. If you don't have spray adhesive, you can use regular glue, but it'll take a little longer to dry. That's why I recommend the, spa the spray adhesive. So you're going to take your cardboard, and it says take your pan well. And then you're going to spray six to eight inches away from your cardboard. And you're going to glue down uh, your cardstock pieces. this. It is a little stinky, but not really. And then you're going to do the same side to this. Uh, where's my second piece? Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. And you're going to just paste that on. Um, and then you're going to cut later on off your access piece here. So now the next step is a little tricky because we have to glue our base in. So we're going to spray adhesive one side of our cardboard. And put our one base piece, the circle piece on. Uh, Alright. So this is what we got to do next. Um, you might want to flip over your piece of paper because it's got glue on it now and it's very sticky. So now what we're going to do is you're going to put glue on the bottom of here. So just a little bit. And we're going to glue our base down. And then you're going to spray it again all the way around your circle. And you are going to place, try not to put too much on because it'll get caked. And then you're going to stick on your circle part. And now if you have like any excess sticking over, this is the part where you're going to trim it off your spiral paisleys out and you're going to take the edge of your paisley or whatever you want to call this. I don't really know what it's called. So then you're just going to trace them out. Try to match the edge of the circle of your paisley to the edge of your um, of your circle. I recommend that you use a pencil at this point because these black pen lines will show up on your paper. 
All right, so then you got that one in, and then the next one, you're just gonna kind of fit it in. There, so you have your three little uh, design things. Now you're going to paint these individually. So let's see. Um, if you have a paintbrush, great. You can easily paint this. Um, but I don't know where my paintbrushes are, so I'm going to have to use my fingers to do this. It's a little funner, uh, I think. So the first color I'm going to choose, you can color this any color you want. And you're basically going to paint or use your finger and make it a solid color. And then you're just going to continue to do this. I'm going to make this one purple, this one green, and this one yellow. So if you're just painting with a paintbrush, just paint those in. If you're using your finger, just continue to fill it in like so. Once you got your pa fan painted, now I decided to take an aspect and put flowers on each of our little paisley curly cute things. Um, the color I'm going to use for the purple is a golden brown color. Um, so like I said, if you're using a paintbrush, you can do the same thing, but if you don't have one, you're going to have to use your finger. Um, I would recommend washing your fingers after you paint this so that the colors you use don't um, bleed. So you're just going to go like this and then just pull some of our petals out from the paint. So it'll look something like that. You can do the same thing with your um, paintbrush. You can use a thick paintbrush a thin paintbrush. Um, finish painting these in the gold. I'm going to do these in red and these in purple. Once you have your flowers, you're going to take a little bit of black and put black dots into your flowers. And then you are going to paint this base any color you want, but I'm going to base mine blue. have something that looks like this. Let this dry. You can either leave it like this or you can paint your backside any way you want. I think I'm just going to make mine one solid color and then I'll show you what that looks like. Backside of mine in blue and that is your fan. So you just basically hold the base like this and you fan yourself. And I hope you guys make this uh, paper fan uh, thing. Um, I'm going planning on doing a uh, fabric version sometime soon. So let me know if you want to see that and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.